Amen. Because these people are few. We don't need God to depend on. So we find, praise God, hallelujah, that they, amen, sent men up to survey. I told you presumption, praise God. Amen. Was seen of being able, amen, to believe something, amen, without any proof. So they thought within their mind, because we have such a small group of people, man, that we don't need to send a lot of folk up there. So because this is a small village, amen, but it's blocking our path. This is a small village with just a few people. Hallelujah. We're going to just send two or three thousand up there. Hallelujah. You see what a man Israel had done. It had shift from dependency to presumption. Amen. They shift that which was easy. Praise God. And thought that they didn't need God. They figured because it was a small group of people. Hallelujah. That they could go and take over them. Amen. Just by simply pop of the finger. But I don't care how small or how large situation are. You still got to lead and depend on God. Amen. Israel figured that I didn't need God no more. They figured that we just slew thousands. Amen. And now we can go on our own and do. Amen. What we can do. But let me tell you something. When sin come into camp. Amen. It brings trouble. When sin come into camp. It separates you from God. And you think you're right. When God has stepped back away from you. And left you all alone. To do for yourself. So the Bible lets me to know, amen, praise God, that the children of Israel, amen, they moved their dependency, amen, from God. And they began to presume, amen, that they could do it all by themselves. But one thing I want you to understand today that you can't do nothing by yourself. That, amen, all the power belies in the hand of God. Because when man have gone his extremity and can't go no further, you need to learn how to lead and depend on God. I believe Paul said in the book of Second Timothy, and around about the first chapter, and long about, I believe it, the 12th verse, he said, look, for the which called I also suffer thee thing. He said, nevertheless, I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against this day. He said, I want you to hold fast. Amen. Amen. The form of the sound word which has heard. Amen. In other words, he was saying, praise God, that I know that God is able amen to bring me through I know because of the things that I went through that I can lean and depend on God amen. hallelujah amen. the children now hallelujah think that man they could do without God hallelujah they thought that dependence on God. You know, it's not something we can just bust it up in the time of emergencies. It's the realization of part, amen, from, amen, his will. We cannot presume our next breath. We can't even think about what's going to happen to us next. Hallelujah. But we got to learn how to be dependent on God. In every situation. In every but I came today to let you know, folks of God. Amen. You got to depend on God. Whatever you're going through, whatever you confronted with, you can't take it all by yourself. You can't walk out there. 
like you somebody. Hallelujah. When you just a vapor that the wind driveth away. Amen. Amen. Israel thought. Amen. That because it's such a few folk, we can go through them. Amen. But let me tell you something. Amen. When God is not with you, you can't do nothing. I understand the word of God. When God says, oh, I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. Yes, God will be with you if you let him. He'll be with you if you allow him to be. But when you draw yourself away from God, God, amen, will leave you there all by yourself. I wish I had somebody today who been through a situation when they thought it was going to be easy, when they thought they could handle it all by themselves, and they tried it, but it didn't work. They tried it, hallelujah, and they just couldn't make no headway. Oh, I can go on and on. I can talk about the time. Hallelujah. When God, praise God, had them to rebuild the temple. When the people got there, they looked. Everything was tore all to pieces. They looked, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Wasn't leaning and depending on God. They thought that they could go there and build it back up. But because of the ruin. Amen. They looked at the situation and said it's virtually impossible because they was going on presumption and not depending on God. See, when man have done everything he could do, what seemed impossible for him is possible with God. So they went there, looked at the situation. Hallelujah. Pray the name of God. Say we can't do it. They were torn with infant cell. Instead of building the temple of God, they start rebuilding their own homes, rebuilding their own houses. But let me tell you something. Amen. If God is for you, he's more than the whole world against you. If God tell you to do it, you need to learn how to do what God tell you to do. That's why we go through so much hell and so much trouble a day. But we want to take into our own hand. We want to do our own thing. But let me tell you something. When you take it in your own hand, you telling God it's all right. I can handle this situation. But let me tell you something. You don't need to tell God you can handle anything. Because you can't handle nothing all by yourself. You weak, you frail. Hallelujah. But God is mighty. Mighty in everything that he do. Pray the name of God. I wish today that I had somebody that know the power of God. Is there anybody in here that know the power of God? Is there anybody in here that tried to do the job of God and you fell by the wayside? So now you know that you can't do nothing without him. Amen. Israel had the experience that they can do nothing without God. Amen. Because God, I heard it say, it's not by might and it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord. If God said it, you got to do it. If God said walk, you got to walk. If God said stand still, you got to stand still. I believe I heard a song that we used to sing a long time ago. Hallelujah. And the choir was rocking with that song. It said, I can depend on God. It said through the storm, through the rain, through sickness and pain, I can depend on God. It said, I remember the day. Hallelujah. And I remember the hour, amen, when God filled my soul with the Holy Ghost power. I was not, amen, I was lost and could not find my way. He stayed with me each and every day. I was sick and I couldn't get well. He healed my body. Now I can tell that, amen, I can depend on God. I heard he said, I remember the day, and I remember it well. He snatched my soul from the gate.
gates of hell sound so good and maybe you haven't heard all you have to do is trust in his word and I can depend on God how many of you can depend on God how many of you can trust in his word God's word will never return unto the Lord but it's going to accomplish well oh God said it oh I wish I had somebody in the house of God that knew when they called on his name he'll come to their rescue I said when you call on his name he'll come to your rescue he'll deliver you I'm going to shake somebody today and let them know brother child you can depend on God when man turn his back when man walk away God shall be there for you to the end of the world I never leave you I never forsake you I'll be right by your side can you understand the day that you can Hallelujah. Hallelujah. you can depend on 